Hey guys! Hey guys! How's it going everyone? I'm not going to waste a ton of time with the introduction here. Basically, we've just got two Amberlynn videos we're looking at. I thought it would be fun to take her most viewed videos and look at those and maybe see what's going on in them. So we have the top two most viewed Amberlynn Reed uploads. I hope you enjoy it. So I decided to film a mukbang. Mukbang, excuse me. Is that how it's said? I think I called it a mukbang earlier. Because I'm hungry try to fix this lighting it's crazy in here as always okay so you know what's actually kind of crazy crazier even than her lighting she's she's a lot smaller in this video than she is in her newer ones today we got some chicken egg rolls they are huge like how are you doing okay I'm doing all right those things are huge and then some white rice with soy sauce that is all that is and over here is a asian how do i explain this it's like a it kind of just looks like cabbage asian it's a recipe online let me just say that um this is like an asian pasta salad really it's just um ramen but you don't use the seasoned packet you just use like the tiniest bit i don't even i don't even see noodles in there it seriously just looks like cabbage and then you add a uh, cucumber and peppers and Italian dressing and it's so good. Uh, chew your food before you talk. Come on. Normally, I eat egg rolls with a fork, but for you guys, I won't because people make fun of me. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if this video was a good idea. Mm mm mm. Thanks. Now, now I know what it looks like inside of an egg roll. So good. Yeah, I, I still don't see any noodles in there. I need to figure out a little cute setup for this. Maybe a table. Yeah, yeah, usually people do eat on a table instead of off their hand. Now, I'm glad you didn't figure out a setup for this, you know, because obviously this isn't the healthiest thing to be doing, and I want you to be happy in your own size, and here's the big thing. People are like, why are you just making fun of a, a girl on the internet just eating food? This is the problem. The channel started out as a weight loss channel. So why are you doing a, a mukbang where you just shove your mouth full of Chinese food? I'm in love with this stuff right here. It's mainly, you can tell, just cucumber. Oh, there's also cabbage. I knew it. I knew there was a, it looks like it's mostly cabbage. I knew that there was cabbage in there. I knew she was missing out on something. I was like, that doesn't look like cucumbers and noodles. It looks like there's something else going on there. I will be hated on for this. Diet soda. I know, I know you're acknowledging that you're going to be hated on for it, Amberlynn, but we still have to say something about it, right? Because you can't sit there and just feast on a, on a mukbang and then, <laughs> and then she pulls up the diet soda. Because, I mean, the point of diet soda, obviously, is to be more healthy than regular soda. So why even waste the time if you're not going to make the other 98% of the effort in exercising and in eating the right foods? This is kind of gross. I don't even know if I in... I don't know why. Like, I got into this and I was kind of excited to do it, and now as I watch her eat more and more, I kind of wish I... Like, I'm a little bit regretting making the decision. Now, all this being said, if you guys are enjoying this and if you guys enjoy the Amberlynn videos, I'd appreciate it if you scroll down and you hit the like button and you hit that subscribe button. I think it would be super cool if everybody that watched these videos and enjoyed them hit the subscribe button so that that number just jumped up. I would love that. Only do that if you enjoy the video, of course. I'm not trying to just sit here and beg you for it, but hey, there's my shameless plug. If you guys are curious, this is cold. Thanks. My days lately have been really busy, honestly. And you guys can't really tell because I'm sucking on my vlogging game, but. 
isn't the point of the mukbang to eat food while talking with the audience, while conversing, not just feast on the food? Like, she, in one of her videos, she kind of says that was the point, was so that it's not like she's eating alone. It's so that she can converse with her audience. But the problem is, I know you guys aren't going to see it because I'm cutting, like, 90% of the video out. The majority of the video is just her silently eating and breathing loudly while just not even looking at the camera. And then she'll look at the camera, say something that isn't relevant, and then go back to eating for another two minutes. I'm getting kind of full, if I'm being honest. Then slow down or stop eating or something. You don't have to impress us by finishing the food. Look how she kind of took that last piece of egg roll and just slid it right down. Um, because I was curious. The egg rolls come in a two pack and I get them from Walmart. It's over by the deli aisle. Um, a dollar for two and they're huge. Like, I only need two, but. Really? You only need two? Because by my count, you started with four. You know what the glorious thing about diet soda is? It allows you to eat whatever food you want, but as long as you're drinking a diet soda, the meal becomes healthy. And, um, the rice is in the Asian aisle of Walmart. Um, it's just like this little circle container that's already cooked rice you just put in the microwave. You know what? I was actually, like, like it's unhealthy to be sitting here and eating this much food in front of a camera. But for a little bit in the beginning, I was like, well, at least everything was homemade. And then she talked about how she didn't get the egg rolls. She didn't make the egg rolls. She went and bought them. And then she talked about how she didn't make the rice either. The rice is probably the easiest part. Mmm! I'm under making something! Oh my god! Mmm! <laughs> She knows what she's doing. She cooks and then eats it. Chew your food or spit it out before you talk. Please. And her kids join her sometimes. A lot of the time. I'm hooked. Um. Someone commented in one of my mukbang. I know I keep calling it mukbang and mukbang. It's supposed to be mukbang. Um, commented about her, and I was like, okay, well, let me look her up. She's talking about some other person who does mukbangs. I don't, I don't really know. In love with her. And she's vegan. Going in for that fourth egg roll, I see. You know what? I want to formally apologize to everyone that has made it this far in the video. I'm sorry. So full. Then stop. Almost done, so whatevs. Yeah, what's another 400 calories is to eat? What's another 400 calories? Using my fork. You know, she's got something cool going on there, huh? She knows that she can use the power of gravity. Gravity. You know when, like, you know when, I feel like I've seen it in dinosaur movies, or I've seen maybe alligators do it, they kind of throw stuff up and it slides down their throat? That's kind of what she's doing. Slurp it all up. Yes. So good. I need to add a, like a viewer discretion warning in the beginning. Listen, if you watch this and there is no viewer discretion warning in the beginning, just know that I forgot it. That was an awesome dinner. If I had to rate your dinner, I would say it was pretty unhealthy. A lot of calories, probably wasn't very good for you, probably a tremendous amount of sodium. But at least you had the diet Dr. Pepper. At least you had the diet can of sugary water to wash it down. And I'll see you in my next one. Listen, I know you probably don't want to see another one, but I already promised you guys in the beginning of the video that you were going to get two of them. So, um, let's, we have to do what we have to do. If you don't want to watch it, 
I won't be mad at you if you jump off the video. If you are still here and you are enjoying them, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. You know I appreciate that. But you know what? Let's just watch this other one. What I'm going to be eating right now, it's pretty late. I'm pretty hungry after running some errands. This is spicy burritos. It's just frozen burritos. like Another super healthy food choice. And I also have hot Cheetos. I usually eat a bigger bag than this. I know that sounds like ridiculous but I got the smaller bag like hot Cheetos a bigger bag than that that's not like that's not even that small of a bag that's like a medium-sized bag you eat a full bag of chips in one sitting hot Cheetos are you serious are from my like pastime like I would eat hot Cheetos as a little girl and they didn't bother me like everyone's like oh my god they're so hot and I'm like no you know what's funny? I actually have a buddy that loves hot Cheetos. He'll put them on everything, like sandwiches and anything that he can, he'll put hot Cheetos on. And I know that whenever I need to get him something or wherever I go to visit him, I only, I get him a bag because he loves them. But I don't understand the fascination with them. And I have some Dove milk chocolate for like a little dessert. <laughs> okay, so you've got two frozen preservative filled burritos, a bag of flaming hot Cheetos, and a bag of chocolates. Yeah, that sounds really good for your weight loss channel. So, yeah, I guess I just eat and talk to you guys. Yeah. Um, I've been watching a lot of mukbangs. I actually used to think they were called mukbangs. Hey, <laughs> touche, touche. Until, like, I started looking into it more and watching people. And it, it kind of feels like... You know, you're eating with them, in a way, like... Nice plastic spoon and paper plate. Um... Yeah, I... A lot of people watch these types of videos, but... It's like, a lot of the time I'll read the comments of, like, uh, mukbang videos, and they're pretty nice. Um... So. Honestly, I don't think you're getting the same luxury there for a reason, Amber. A lot of people don't like your videos because one, a lot of people who do mukbangs, that's kind of their theme. Your theme is supposed to be weight loss. And so people don't want to see, sit here and watch you feast on a couple of burritos, a bag of chips, and a bag of candies. And two, your mukbangs are kind of lazy. A lot of people that do them either go out and they buy a whole bunch of takeout food and they have a huge amount and it's, it's a dream thing. People are like, oh wow, I wish I could buy $20 or $30 worth of food and just feast. That looks awesome. They like to watch that. Otherwise, they make a whole bunch of homemade food that also looks really good. You have like $2 worth of burritos, a $2 bag of chips, and like a, a bag of candy. Your meal is like an $8 thing that you just found at Walmart. That's why people don't like your videos. Oh, is your, is your frozen burrito good? Good. I don't really like talking with my mouth full, so... You do it anyways. So, how's your guys' day been? It's been alright. No complaints. I had the day off, so I figured... Why not? That's a good as reason as any as I know to eat a whole bag of chips, two burritos, and a bag of chocolates. That's weird. I'm bigger now, but I never eat three at once anymore. Oh, at least you're getting better. It's just two burritos, a bag of chips, which is a smaller bag of chips than you usually eat as well. So I guess you're improving on multiple fronts, huh? I feel like I'm killing my burrito. <laughs> Literally killing it. You're not killing your burrito. You're kind of killing yourself. I've um bought a lot of like TV dinner type stuff, which is kind of sucky um because like i'm trying to lose weight and all and that right there that one clip is exactly a, a huge reason as to why a lot of people don't like amberlyn reed you can't sit there and do a mukbang where you're gonna eat an entire bag of chips you have your bag of candies i know i've said it for like a million times here and your two frozen burritos and then sit there and be like i'm trying to lose weight oh, doesn't work that way and I am and it's like I want to be healthier but it's like right now I'm just like counting calories as she puts a burrito in her mouth okay I mean not today 
<laughs> what a slob. She's got a little piece on her shirt. I mean, not today. <laughs> of course, today's a cheat day. Yeah. Any progress, the amount of food that you're eating right now, any progress that you would have made by cutting out calories, you probably just lost from like the past month. If, 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 if at least the past week, if not the past week, the past month, if you were cutting out like 500 calories, you know, a day even, your week is done. Obviously, but. The reason why I'm using a spoon. Um. Now let's get to the point, alright? This video is getting kind of long. I don't have any plastic forks and I always I, I like can't eat with my fingers it's like so weird but I'm trying right now as you can tell like if I'm having french fries I'll use a fork <laughs> you're so quirky and fun I didn't even get a drink I'll be right back yeah Amberlynn go ahead go get yourself a glass of water like a glass of milk or something like that or a can of Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. The drink of champions. It's a choice of a new generation. <sighs> Isn't that weird? How even just getting up to walk all the way to the fridge, I get out of breath. Yeah, that actually is kind of weird. That's not a normal thing. I shouldn't be eating food like this then. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh boy. So, flaming hot Cheetos. There is controversial topics on this, you guys. You either love them or you hate them. I love them. We can tell. And just to warn you, I eat like three at once. At this point, nothing surprises me. I was gonna get McDonald's to film this video, but I was like, mm. oh, that would have been too unhealthy. Yeah, instead I'll eat a bag of flaming Cheetos. Now I do the part that everyone hates. But I'm clean. My hands are clean. Yeah, no, they're not, okay? You know what? I don't know. This video's getting too long. I'm gonna skip past the rest of the Cheetos stuff. It's it's crazy long. She just sits there and just keeps eating Cheetos while she talks about, like, who she th thought should have won American Idol. It's ridiculous. Let's just beep ahead. I'll see two. I'll eat some of, the some of the rest later, you know? The only. This is the, the only right decision that you've made. And you know what? It could have even been more right. Like maybe after reading, eating an entire bag of flaming Cheetos and two burritos, maybe no chocolates would have been okay. Maybe you don't need any dessert for a little bit or maybe save them for a snack for later. But um, you know what? Seeing your track record, I'm just happy you didn't eat the whole bag. All right. There you guys go. I usually suck on them sometimes. Alright, that's about enough of that. I mean, that's pretty much the end of the video right there. Man, I can't believe I had to cut out so much just random crap of her just stuffing her face. It's ridiculous. And you know what? There's a lot of people out there that will comment on the videos. Most of you guys enjoy them, and I love the feedback I get when I make these videos. But there's a lot of people that comment, and they're like, Dude, why are you being so mean to this random person on the internet? And the thing is, man... I think this video is kind of proof. You can't come on here and be like, wow, this is a weight loss channel, and I'm really excited to lose weight. I am losing weight. I really want to lose weight. And then you put out videos of you stuffing your face full of Chinese food. And you know what? The Chinese food one was bad, but it wasn't nearly as bad as the entire bag of Cheetos. That's what really got me. I, I thought maybe it was going to be a little tiny bag, but it wasn't. It was a it was a medium sized bag, and she just went to town on that bag. I I know quite a few people out there, and actually, growing up, my sister she loved chips. She would just eat and eat and eat out of the bag, right? But as she grew up, she kind of just stopped doing that. 
Now, I've never been a big chip guy. I enjoy a couple chips on the side of some things, but I'm not the biggest fan of chips, so maybe I'm coming at it a little bit weird of an angle. Let me know what you guys have to say about that, but other than that, you guys, I really want to know what you want for future content as well. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see, and if you've made it this far in this video through all that disgustingness, thank you so much. You're soldiers. You braved the fight, and you made it through, and you're going to survive to tell the tale, okay? Now, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Only if you enjoyed it, though. That's my one rule. Don't break it, because rules, rules is rules. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Um, I'm going to go enjoy a whole bag of, like, uh, some sour cream and onion? Yeah, that, that's a pretty popular bag of chips.